Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Ah! Come on, you little dingus. Time to get some brisket. Excuse me, let me see if I can get those seeds out of there real quick. Dang it all, I got were two letters from Tank. No! Quandale tried to scare him away. Yeah, I'm sure he's not going to try and attack me again after all that. Homeland was even starting to get a little dirty. Pobger. Getting all warm and cozy. I think there might be some babies in there. Karen and Kevin, I love you, but I just spent an hour trying to get you to go in there, and you wouldn't go in there. And Kevin, you're just trying to kill me every day. So if you freeze to death, it's not my fault. Also, this is where the chickens are sleeping now because I kicked them out of the barn, but that's okay. Even if they're pooping a little bit in here, I'm glad they're not just eating all the capybara's food. Later that night, I fought my ops. All right, everybody, I just got done taking my shower. Just kidding, but this turtle here is getting his weekly soak in. I'm letting him just sit in here, and he's just soaking because he's not drinking, and this is really all he needs to do to get his moisture in. Also, this keeps him healthy, keeps him from pyramiding, even though he already has a little bit of pyramiding. Okay, as you can see, I filled up this little dish here with water and he hasn't really eaten or drank since I got him. They can actually go, I think, three weeks without eating or drinking. That's pretty normal for them. But I am just going to go ahead and let him soak in here for another probably five, six minutes. Oh, look at him. He's just, oh, he's just getting all warm and cozy in there. Well, good afternoon to everybody. I am here at the Wacho Post Office to pick up my taxidermized wood ducks that you sent me in the mail. I know all you guys sent me taxidermized wood ducks that you stole from your grandparents' house in the mail. Oh, I sure would be horribly disappointed if I didn't have any in there. Dang it, all I got were two letters from Tank and someone named Lisa. Hello, Lisa. But wow, two letters from Uncle Tank. Thank you for the letter, Lisa. I promise I'll dress more modestly. I'm not sure how familiar you are with the YouTube comments, but all those cringe comments are bots. There are not actually women commenting all kinds of nasty things on my channel. Those are bots. But you can report them, Lisa, and help the problem. He said here he learned how to use C4 and he says don't send him any food or anything bad if you don't want him to get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the weather's nice again, and Poggers and Queen keep escaping out uh, this little hole here. So I got all this quick creep so I can fill in this gap. Hey, it's me editing, Ben. The wind was atrocious, but Petunia ate all the goat's food, and I got the hoses working again. How's about you stop doing that, Petunia? Okay, that'll keep them from getting under there for now, and whenever they inevitably dig another hole over here, I got these ones. Look at this cringe ah uh, uh, pig Yeah, get on back in there, Petunia. What? What do you want? Why is she doing this, you guys? Tell me in the comments. Why does she keep putting her nasty little nose on my foot? Remington looks very healthy because he's been gorging himself for the last few days with their food. All of the ponds are nice and full of water now. I'm going to go ahead and let these boys out. All right, children, time to go. It sure doesn't smell nice in here. Welcome back to freedom, children. Oh, there they go. <laughs> wow, look at this beautiful boy. Four days they spent in here. This is their zoomies now. What? Homeland was even starting to get a little dirty. <laughs> Look how happy they are now that they can run around for the first time in four days. There we go. <laughs> Look how he's just spinning around in circles. Okay, I'm going to try and go ahead and herd these guys over into the bigger enclosure so they can run around. It sure is a beautiful afternoon here. And it's high time I release those babies to free reign. Look at those stupid vultures sitting up there. Cringe, ah, ah, Kevin. Okay, Kevin, how's about you let me in there so I can let you your children out of that barn. Okay, Kevin's not letting me walk through here, so I'm gonna have to go back to get all reliable. Okay, hey Kevin, excuse me. Excuse me, Kevin, excuse me, excuse me, go. Oh, excuse me, Kevin, oh, oh excuse me. Okay, I'm sure he's not gonna try and attack me again after all that. Surely he wouldn't try to attack me again after all of that. Oh, good morning, children. It's no longer cold and raining anymore. You boys are now free to go. Man, it is gonna be real fertile in here. I gave Kevin the little lid thing and now he's running around with it. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye, Kevin. That's all you have to do to get him off your tail. You don't really have to hit him with anything. Sometimes you can just give him that little bucket. He'll run around for hours. Look at that beautiful little boy. Nothing like watching Kevin run around with a little thing while my children have the zoomies. And he's still trying trying to attack me. He can still see me, but he's too dumb to let go of the dang thing. Look at this. Give it a bad butt up. <laughs> okay, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this stuff. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Ah! Man, he is still going at it over there. Way over there. He is still going at it. Nature is healing. Isn't that right, Care? It's kind of like giving him a pacifier, honestly. Look how cute Soldier Boy is. Still got it. He still has that thing in his mouth. Okay, he finally dropped it. Let's see if he'll do it again. 
Okay, there you go. So while he does that, I'm gonna go ahead and just close this up. This is the new method of hitting cats. I like to just let him take care of himself here with his own stupidity. But okay, all these guys are free. Oh, looks like he picked some feathers there. They all have plenty of food in there. These guys have a little bit of food over here. All right, everybody, it's time to release these clappy blappy. It won't be in the 30s again for 10 days. So these guys are good to go outside. All I do to open this thing is I just lift it and come on out, children. Here they are, leaving the house for the first time. These are the new boys. That's Gort, that's Quandale. I'm not 100% sure what the names of these boys will be, but I'm looking into it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think we should name these old dinguses, but they seem to be enjoying their new home. One thing's for sure though, Gort and Quandale are definitely a little bit closer with each other than they are with these new guys, but I haven't seen any adorable little fights break out between the two tribes. And these two do have a different look to them. They're a bit darker. Maybe that's just because they're younger though. The baby can come out, but the Wobbies can't. The baby needs more leg room than the Wobbies do. And I still need to go ahead and put these fences back to the where they used to be. But for now, I'm just going to give the baby full range of the whole yard. So far, no more progress has been made on the house. The foundation is done though. and We'll be ready to start the framing soon. And now that the concrete has dried, I can open up this adorable little thing. Wow, a beautiful little pauper. You are free, children. Oh, here goes the baby running up to meet him. Just kidding, the baby's gonna escape. But that's his water if he needs it. And he can run around here and do whatever he wants, I don't care. I won't need to lock him back up until we have contractors here again. This still isn't completely dry yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it cure for a bit while I keep the dogs locked up. Pobgers, this is the only creature on the property with a soul. And as you can see, the residents of Ounstopia are thriving. Good job protecting the house, big ounce. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick up Bimgus. Look at this little bum. And after I pick her up, everything will be back to normal here. Look at the baby over there. Okay, it's later tonight, and look at this. Filled in this hole here with concrete, and now they just dug a little hole right there. And I really don't know what to do anymore, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find them. Okay, here's one of them. Quick! Okay, there they are. Someone please tell me how to get them to stop doing this. They come right back whenever I call them over here. I'm gonna leave them in here at night till we get to the bottom of this, but this is a nice little place for them. They're happy in here. All right, everybody, she is back and very healthy and adorable. She's been eating a lot. We got the right food mixture that we're gonna give her from now on. And we got a new special diaper that she isn't gonna chew up. Look how precious she is. I'm gonna go ahead and buy all these supplies and then we're gonna take her home. But first we're gonna stop Stop at Bucky's. All right, everybody. I am here with this little Bimbus, and uh, we are going to Bucky's to get some food. Of the many things I was told, uh, one of them was that I need to take this little dingus with me just about everywhere now, and that it's very important for her development for me to do that. All right, come on, you little dingus. Time to get some brisket. Surprisingly, the pouch did a great job of hiding her in there, and people didn't really try and peek and see what was inside. So I think the majority of the people that did see her just thought that she was a dog, so they didn't really say anything. But look how perfect this is. She's just got her little hammock here. And even if I get into an accident, she's going to be fine because this thing protects her. I think I might have to put her in a locker when I go to the gym. Well, well. Apparently it is 90 degrees in here. Well, that's not even true. It doesn't feel like 90 at all. Hello, big ounce, my adorable little handsome baby boy. I think it only says that because this sensor here is so close to the heat lamp. I hear adorable noises under there. Look at my big beautiful boy. I hear all kinds of adorable little noises. I think there might be some babies in there. Well, I won't bother them. I'm just gonna give them some food and head out. They're good on water. And here's some fresh food for you, my adorable big baby boy. Sorry, we're all out of seagulls. Now that we have two more cappies, I'm gonna have to buy a lot more rabbit and guinea pig food for them. The Wobbies are still doing great on food and water. And I could put the tortoise back in here, Master Ugwe. Okay, just filled up the cappy food. Where are these little boys? Apple for the goat for today. I'll cut an apple for the baby. Please enjoy this beautiful little apple tree. I cooked this for you myself. Excuse me, let me see if I can get those seeds out of there real quick before you eat them, sir. Oh, little 
little seed there. Here, wait, let me get that out of there real quick before you eat it. Okay, all the seeds are removed. Here you go, sir. I'm just gonna put this. Here you go, that's yours. I'm just gonna sit down here with all these apple slices until they come up to me and love me. I have to hide them so they don't just take them and run away though, because they're probably gonna do it. Yeah, see what I mean though? This is Gort. Gort has this big old spot on his nose. That's how you know it's a boy. And Quandale has always had this little scar here. It's a little girl because she doesn't have that big spot. I'm still not 100% sure what these two are, but I imagine we'll figure it out pretty soon. In the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy the company of these adorable little babies. Or it will always be our adorable little alpha male. Come on, children, come eat out of my hands. See, and now these guys are watching them eat out of my hands and it's taming them down. Because normally, traditionally, these two have not eaten out of people's hands before. But Gort will always be my big handsome man and so will Quandale. Although I don't, what is this little scar here from? I hope these children aren't fighting whenever I'm not watching. Come on, buddy, eat the little apple. Come scare them away, dang it. See, if I can distract no! these guys at least for a little bit, these guys should be able to eat the, yeah, 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 yeah. See, he's eating the apple. Oh, I sure do love these clapperty blapperty. Okay, well, these guys are sitting by a bunch of apples over here. They should be fine if they want to eat them. The goal is obviously going to be to spend more time with these guys to get their weight up a little bit. In the meantime, I suppose these guys can teach them how to eat. Did save these two slices for the wobby. I'm just going to gently set this down where he hangs out. Come on, son, hop on over to your corner. There we go. This is the end of our little wallaby story here. We're probably gonna have these guys for a couple more videos and then I'm gonna give them back to my buddy. He needed me to take him here because it was getting really cold and he didn't have a good cold weather set up for them. But now he does, ooh. And because of how thankful they are for me taking care of their animals for two months, they said they might even give me a little bottle baby if we're lucky for free. And if you guys think Lil Bimbus is cute, wait till you see a baby wobby. And she is eating again, but I have to be a little bit more assertive with it. But she is in fact eating and drinking again so thank you guys so much for praying for this little doofus still isn't eating anything but apparently that's pretty normal for him that's it for now though guys thanks so much for watching my feature i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video oh almost forgot to talk